Hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It is a Friday night. You know, me and Mama have to party wild on Friday nights. Good coffee. Good food. What else could you ask for? So tonight we're having those leftover potatoes that we made last night that were so good. We're going to have that. And here's the leftover grilled chicken. And it's ready to go. Mama's going to make us some homemade honey mustard dressing. So that's what we're really is Mama's homemade honey mustard. All right, Mama, show them your stuff there. I'm down here cutting up some green onions, a purple onion, okay. and a tomato. I've got a cup, it's a Dick's mayonnaise. Okay. And I've got a cup of this and a cup of It sees that mixture there. Uh, that's Same cup. I had mustard in. I'm just going to pour my vegetable oils like this is. Now this is delicious. I'm going to pour a cup of Mustard and oil and a fourth a cup of honey. And it's just this jar, honey. See, it's got a tag on the front of it. I'll see. I'll take it. I don't believe it does. This came from Riverside. This is that um, um, yeah. clover, sweet clover, or something. Stone mountain or something. Something, yeah. Or some kind of mountain. Got that. It says a cup of mayonnaise, a fourth cup of mustard, fourth cup of vegetable oil, fourth cup of honey, and a dash of red pepper. And I've had this pepper forever. It's still good. It's tough. Look at that, people. Wrap that down your journals. Mama's using hot pepper, and I wouldn't me. That's the reason I tell y'all, she can eat it. It ain't like it's something she won't do. And it calls for a, a eighth a teaspoon of onion salt. And this, I didn't find my eighth. I'm just going to put, no hardly this fourth one in here. And let's see, you got my honey, my pepper, my salt, and a half a teaspoon of vinegar, cider vinegar. I believe I got that cayenne up in my throat. <laughs> you can't sing cayenne, it's long. Cayenne pepper's good for you. Well, it burns the bad stuff out of it. I think it's good for blood pressure. It can be used as a blood thinner. I don't know what. It's kind of helped me see if I got everything now. The mayonnaise I got, mustard, fourth cup of mustard, a cup of mayonnaise, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, mm. one fourth cup of honey, small pinch of red uh, can of pepper, one eighth teaspoon of onion salt, one half uh, teaspoon of cider vinegar, and that's all I do. And then I'm gonna mix it. She tried and tried to find a smaller bowl, but that's only that's the smallest one she could come up with. Oh, I can find a smaller one. I tell her all the time, Mommy used too small a bowl. You said I thought this one would be pretty. Honey mustard. A honey mustard bowl. Oh, my honey mustard. I need to find you a bigger honey mustard bowl. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's a pretty bowl. It's a pretty bowl. That's an old pyrex. It'll take me a minute to 
Honey mustard. It is a favorite of ours. Mama makes it real good. It's restaurant quality. Deliciousness. I used to go out and eat at one restaurant, and I loved their salad, but I love honey mustard dressing, so I used to take me a little, those little small containers of Tupperware and take my own dressing with me and my own little eggs, didn't I? I yeah, it was sort of like a... Embarrassment to you, wasn't it? It was sort of like a, one of those restaurants where they cook them at the table. And then she would lean over and say, honey, you want to try this honey mustard? It's good if you want some on your salad, and she'd just pass it out to customers. No, I wouldn't take that much. Mm-hmm. I've seen you, Mama. Mm -hmm. I've observed you trying to lure in a phone. Well, I'll whip that a little bit. I will uh, say I got everything in it, can You said you did. I didn't watch. I was up there watching my fingers. Because I've been chopping. I'm going to get all this to the sink. Mmm. This looks to perfection, Mama. It's pretty. This looks like yours. Now mine, if I make it, hers has got a few little red specks. I can sprinkle a little more if it ain't hot enough. Do what? I can sprinkle a little more if it ain't hot enough for you. Well, you know me, Mama. You gonna sample it? Yeah. It might be a little bit more. It's there it is, a honey mustard bowl and a honey mustard dressing. You can't beat that with stick. Uh -huh. You got the buns buns yet, Mama? Your is that the potatoes hauling at you or is that the that, buns hauling at you? Potatoes, no buns ain't What'd you decide? What's the verdict? Now, Mama, you can't go but me. I think it could have another solder in that boat. Hmm. How'd you think it needs? Need salt? Need the, this? No, not salt. Oh, what? Well, because well, you gave me garlic powder instead of That ain't garlic, is it? Yes, sir. Oh, no, I can't eat it. How much you put in there? Uh, eighth of a teaspoon. I didn't put much. Well, here we are in a dilemma. Do I not eat it? Or do I try to see if I can handle it tonight since it's so small amount? Most of the time, garlic powder and I don't get along unless it's cooked, boiled, and soup. Hmm, dilemma, dilemma. I'm gonna put a little another shake, shake of this in there. Not a shake, shake. Maybe one shake. Two shakes, three shakes, four. I'm gonna put a little salt. Right there it is, Mama. It's, it's right there on that shelf. What are you looking for? Onion powder? Yeah, or onion salt. I didn't find no onion salt earlier. I'm still looking here. Go over and sing and dance and let me get in there and I'll find it. I hate to sing and dance. Rick, what's this? Onion, that's minced. Onion powder, right there. Okay. Anything else you want out of this wild and crazy cabinet? No. I believe we've got it. Here's onion powder. We got onion powder rolling out our ears. It's softer than this. This is soft. An extra teaspoon? Yeah. Okay, it's in. One egg teaspoon. Now I'll try it, Mama. I'll try it with my same spoon. I ain't re-spooning. 
There's a clean spoon we can dip with. Uh, you can. I'm going to just dip mine right on here. No, I'll do Because I'm just going to taste. Because it does have garlic powder in it. That tastes more like it. Yeah. Alright. If y'all want to put garlic powder in it, go ahead. But we didn't intend to. This is the toppings. This is the tomato, the purple onion, the big green onion. This could be white cheese only, but this is that four cheese mix. You can use monterey cheese or mozzarella cheese, and this is just sharp cheddar. And this is the, the whole meal. Mama, if you have another cutting board. No, you're gonna put them buttons on? Yeah. Let me get me another cutting board so I can start assembling sandwiches. Make it happen here. What are you doing? I'm gonna make these sandwiches. I'm gonna get me the buns. When we get buns, we'll have the board ready to rub. So while the buns are browning, we'll just drink coffee. What are y'all up to? Hey, John and Mama. From at least Lyme, Connecticut. Well, good evening. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Becky. Y'all having coffee this evening? I thought it was gonna rain. It looked real rainy earlier. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day here. It looks like it's 83. 83. Shake, shake is your... Just shake the... Uh, bottle several times. Yeah, that's all it is. When I say shake, shake, I just mean I'm going to shake, shake. Yeah, shake, shake. Uh, you can't measure a shake, shake. It's hard to make a measurement anyway because, unless you use a tablespoon or, I mean, a measuring spoon for every little thing. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Jan. Love to see us live, Mary. Uh, Maria, I, we're here every day. We're, Mama and I are here every, some of y'all said we can start on much. How can we, we are normally here seven days a week. So if you're not seeing us sometime during the day, then check your notifications on our page because we are coming on seven days a week. We just, it's just a part of our daily routine. Sometimes we come on early in the morning. Sometimes we come on, um, but we're always here usually in the evening. Um, I come on sometimes on Saturday mornings. Uh, sometimes, um, the morning was a special breakfast. We popped on because Mama made the breakfast. And it was good. It was pork chops, tenderloins, gravy, biscuits. So we just popped on and said, hey. So we're just, we don't plan a lot, folks. Um, sometimes I guess we get on some of y'all's nerves because we are just sort of fly by our pants and just living life. Because that's really what we're doing. All we do really is just turn on the camera and we live our life in front of y'all for... Oh, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes longer. Some people don't like our videos, they're too long. Sometimes they're shorter. But when you're fixing real food in real time, we can fix a lot ahead of time. Tell you what we did and finish it up when we got done. Um, but we get complaints that people say, well, how did you make that? Well, what did, you know, and well, it took 20 minutes, but we had to fix this. So... We learned a long time ago, we can't always do what everybody wants, so we just have to do kind of what we feel is best, that works best with us. And we try to be accommodating, but sometimes, you know, it is a little longer. I, I assure you, I know that. And sometimes we'll say, we're going to make it short today, and then we end up, it's not as short as we want it to be. So we try that with Mama. It's just the way we live. It's just life. But you can always watch us on replay, fast forward, and all that good stuff. The bun's browned? No, 
You want to put this chicken in the microwave for, see it's got a little water in the bottom of it. If you want good tender chicken, you can put it in the air fryer. We were going to do that tonight, but to be honest with you, we'd have to reheat the air fryer and all that. You put a little water in it, put it in the microwave. As long as you're not cooking it in there, it's going to be fine. I mean, as long as you're not leaving there 10, 15 minutes, just warming it up, it's fine. Mama's recipe, if she's not put it up, I'll read it to y'all. Right, here it is. While we're waiting on the chicken and waiting on the buns. Here I go again. I didn't turn my microwave on. But I didn't bring it up, Mama. I know it did much twice here lately. Honey mustard dressing. Oh, I started to say, that's for a gallon. Over here's for a serving. One cup of mayonnaise, any kind you want. One fourth cup of mustard. This is yellow mustard out of the, out of the French's. French's yellow mustard out of the squeezy bottle. One fourth cup of regular vegetable oil. I've never substituted any oil. If I was going to substitute an oil, it would definitely be avocado oil. I would not probably put olive oil in it, but it may be good. I don't know. One fourth cup of honey, small pinch of red pepper, one eighth teaspoon of onion salt, one half to three fourths teaspoon cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Don't substitute the vinegar unless you substitute it with white vinegar only. Don't use white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, just plain vinegar or apple cider. We use organic with the mother in it. These are the two bottoms. Okay, that's what I need. Mama's got her two bottom pieces right here. So that's the recipe. You just blend it all together in a bowl, mix it till it's combined. So I'm gonna make these two sandwiches. You ready? Down here we go. All right, Mama. We will start the process. Now that chicken's getting hot now. That's what we want, okay? So this is lemon pepper chicken. It was grilled last night. Y'all seen it. If you've not, go back and watch the video. Mom and I both ate a little bit. We peeled around here so long. We wasn't hungry enough to eat the rest of it. But that's okay. That's okay. It's extra because you just want to make this. Right, but I fixed extra piece for it. We'll eat it for lunch tomorrow. So on top of that hot chicken, I add cheddar cheese. Cheddar, cheddar, cheddar cheese. Cheddar makes it better. Then you can use another type of cheese. This is just Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack cheese. You can use Monterey. You can use um, mozzarella. You can use any cheese you like. You can use no cheese. Skip this part if you don't like cheese. Then on top of that, I put my um, beautiful garden fresh red tomatoes. Beautiful red garden tomatoes. It's a pretty sandwich. There it is, the beautiful red tomato. It's so full, it don't want to stay. Get back up on there. Quit acting that way in front of company. Then I'm going to put these beautiful purple onions right on top of that. Not over onioning for mamas. And then these are the greens off from the tops of the red, of the beautiful green onions. Mama's planted some more. In fact, we're going to plant the bottoms of these. Now folks, there it is. That is the beauty that we call a grilled chicken sandwich. Okay. Let me clean up a little mess here. Well, make noise, I'm getting us some ice. Okay. Let me clean up a little mess. Green 
clean, clean. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Mama, do you want your honey mustard on here and then we cut it? Uh, I'll put it on it after you cut it because it'll get up. Well, it's going to get everywhere. It's going to file, but you can see how pretty a presentation you have there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make every effort to cut this and leave the integrity of the beauty of the sandwich. Okay, Mama, you're cut in two there, and I'm going to get your bun in the same condition. Okay, no okay. cut. Mm. What'd you do? I stuck my finger on the end of that knife. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to take watch it with knives and I didn't hurt it, it just you know, I knew it was there. <laughs> I knew it was right there. You lose some green onions, all the I know. Just sprinkle that back on yours. You'll have a chance in a minute to redress your sandwich. Get your goodie out there, Mama. Oh, but I don't need all that. You need it. Okay. Now then, we'll get us a little potato, potato, potato. These potatoes are good with sandwiches. Mom, they ain't no little ones. They're all about the Just same. Two or three of them. That's good. That's good. They're all about the same. Now, this honey must be good on these potatoes, too. Yes, it will. I'm debating on the honey mustard, Mom. I'll let you go ahead and get your honey mustard. Well, I'm going to have to get a spoon. Can you reach? Oh, you got one. This spoon's laying here. Was it clean? Yeah. I figured you got it out for it before we started. I may have. Now that's the delicious honey mustard going right on top there. That makes the sandwich so good. And if you just let that set a second, then it'll, it that. it'll absorb up in the bread and be this delicious one at Mama. Yeah. Ooh. Let's bless it. I'm tired of mine apart there. Why don't you scoot over us and eat out to our fart and play? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this precious opportunity to partake of this meal. Lord, we just thank you for nourishing our bodies with it and providing it to the Lord. And we just ask you to be with us and watch over us. And Lord, be with each and every person here. And be with each and every prayer request, every need, and every hurt, dear Lord. In your precious name we pray and ask these things. Amen. Amen. Now, because I don't know about the honey master, since you put a little garlic in it, I'm going to put me a smidge right here just to get a little flavor. But I ain't going to go too crazy with it. Because... Somebody gave me garlic instead of onion. It was my fault. Oh, I didn't say it was your fault, Mom. I'll take full <laughs> credit. I was just handing it down. I've seen that onion powder, and that was right beside it, and I guess it grabbed the wrong one. I'm going to try a bottle of Taylor's It'll be good. And here it is, folks, just like downtown. Look at that. That is a grilled chicken sandwich with some red potatoes. And that's time you see on those potatoes. And the honey mustard. If I hadn't messed up, it would have been good on it. But I take full responsibility for being crazy, Mama. The potatoes did finish great. Well, I'm going to try that first. And I guess if I'm going to get sick, that would be the time to do it. What about your sandwich with it? I ain't tasted a bit yet. I got the nerve to pick it up. I'll have it all over. <laughs> I don't think I can cut it again. No. Well, I'm going to try mine because it's so good and I've been waiting for it. Mmm. Mm. You can grate chips and lettuce and put on it. No, I don't you can do leaf lettuce, spinach, any of that would be great on it. It's good on a salad. You can take this same honey mustard like I was telling y'all last night. Fry up some bacon. Get it good and warm. 
Put it in there while it's hot, stir it up, maybe put it in the microwave for 10 seconds, make that hot honey mustard. Bacon on a salad or even like on a sandwich like this it would be delicious. So try that if you have it. I think you'll like it. What do you think, Mama? Yeah, it's good. Mama, you're going to explain your glasses tonight. That's some readers. <laughs> Mama didn't get new glasses. That's old readers. Oh, did you change my appointment today, or did you forget it? I didn't forget it, but I didn't get it changed. Mmm, unsweet tea. Yeah. Y'all's unsweet and tea. Time. Buns and potatoes, no sugar in the tea. My favorite way is unsweet. That's why you like it the best. I like it the best. Just taste that delicious y'all's tea. If you haven't tried the y'all's tea or the y'all's coffee. You can go to their website and order. I think their teas are in. I don't know about the peach. It was in yesterday, I believe. Um, but when you get ready to check out, use code John, capital J-O-H-N, and they'll give you 10% off everything in your cart. Mama, we're set to differ something tonight. Probably me. I got one of my U-Haul shirts on. I'll read this one. Wow, what does it say? Well, it says established in 2015, y'all. Walking on sunshine. Walking on. You got it right, Mama. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, that's it tonight. That's quick and simple supper on a Friday night. Uh, it's sunshiny. It's beautiful. I think it may have rained a little while earlier. I don't know. It got kind of dark like it's going to, but I didn't go out. I'm not sure what's going on out there in the big world. Mm -hmm. I ain't been out there in an hour. But anyway... We're going to eat our supper while it's still hot. And you all, find you something good to eat. Make you some memories. Have a good time tonight. Enjoy your Friday night. It's still early. It's just 7 o'clock. You've got another hour or two of good sunshine. Do something fun. Go to the park. Take a ride. Yeah, we ride sometimes. Though. That's right. All right, Mama, you got anything you want to add? No, this is good. This is good. Leftovers is good. Leftovers. We used up some potato leftovers with our sandwich. And I dipped them in this honey and mustard, and they to taste totally different mm -hmm. than they did last night. And you could have you could have marinated, you could have put these in a bowl and stirred them in with honey mustard, hot bacon, made those potatoes even better, and that would be another little idea you can use. All right, folks, we are gonna go. Y'all have a blessed night. Yeah. Lord, we will see you tomorrow. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you. Bye.